Welcome to this matchup tonight against the Farmington Knights and the Jackson Lady Indians. Uh, last year this game was taken by the, the Lady Indians twice in double digits. Uh, but this will probably be one of the last home games in this old gym for the Knights. Uh, as the, the new one should be uh, with them in uh, mid-December. Uh, but Chucky, uh, what do you think the Knights are going to have to do uh, you know, to really be able to uh, take this game and uh, to really be able to compete with Jackson tonight? I think where they'll really win the game is on the rebound battle. More possessions, stopping possessions. That's really all you can do, I guess. And we got a couple tall trees down low, so I think we can really do that. Yeah, I would agree with that. I feel like uh, last year the Knights, you know, they kind of lacked in leadership a little bit. You know, they didn't have those seniors that really stepped up as much as uh, they could have at times. And I feel like I in order to be successful this year, they're really going to have to be able to, you know, move that ball around well and uh, shut them down on defense. Definitely, definitely. And speaking of our new gym, this is our our new gym is the f actually new, obviously, and we've had this gym since 1958, which is a very, very long time. <coughs> uh, tomorrow there's a game <coughs> for the uh, boys nights team. They're playing Festus, and we're about to tip off now. Okay. The Knights now going to win the tip. Tucker now is going to corral the ball. Picked up by Norman. Now she kicks it to Graven. Graven now on the sideline. Looks for Jackson. Comes out early in a man to man defense. The starting lineup seems to be Allison Tucker, Emma West, Sophie Thurman, Haley Graven. Claire Boozy, and I don't think I missed anybody. No, I did not. No, I think you're good. Jackson now on the ball off that missed three from Emma West. Jackson's on some per ball moment. Nice Couldn't screen there. White finish. Offensive rebound now. Three, and it's bang. Good. She hits it from deep. Jackson takes a quick lead now, 3 now. That was a three for Soda. AD is going to get out and press. They're going to get it down the court. Tucker with the ball. Look at the drive. Picks it back out. The ref kind of got in the way there. <laughs> yep. Tucker now looking to set up the offense. Get something going here for the night. Graven now finds Bussy down low. And that's good. Boozy. Boozy gets two there. Starting off the night good. The defense there from Midwest going to get shoved to the ground now by Stafford. Norman now with the ball finds Stafford. Oh, that's going to be tipped up by the Knights. Good cut. Stafford finds good it somehow. Good backdoor pass there. And that will go in. Some good ball movement shown from this team. Graven now going to kick it back up to Tucker. Tucker going to drive again. Going to fake that shot. Kicks it back out to Graven. Got her on that fake. Graven now with the ball. I feel like Tucker can be a little more aggressive right now. I feel like she can has a couple open shots she can actually yeah, take. Yeah, I feel like we saw one more last year as she takes that three. Goes. That's not gonna go. Didn't quite Don't. hit, but you know can't hit them all. I feel last year we saw her, you know, a little bit more aggressive on uh, the drive aspect and taking those shots. Whereas uh, so far here tonight she's been a little hesitant to put that shot up and uh, go up for it with it. Knights now back up the goes. ball. Oh, and she takes there a shot that time, and she will get there fouled, and it's going to send her to the line. <coughs> so nice That's trail. what we're looking for from her. Nice trail by three points right now. 5.30 left to go in this uh, first quarter. Tucker's first shot is up and no good. I think so far we uh, we come we saw what we would expect with Jackson with a, uh, a lot of uh, pressure on defense, and her second shot goes in. But I feel like uh, offensively, we this isn't the normal Jackson team that you've seen as that. I feel like they don't have those those stars that they've had before. As uh, Jackson goes in for a foul, I don't know about that foul. I think Claire Boozy had position. She pretty much went straight up. I think that was a clean block. But yeah, that will send Stafford to the line for the Indians.
the Knights rocking uh, the new uniforms this year. I noticed that. It looked nice. The first shot was good now. Second as well. Nothing but nylon for that. Graven now looking to get it in. It's as that press has uh, been quite detrimental. Yeah, they're playing a really fun. hard press. Graven with the ball. Falling back now into a 2-3. Tucker now kicks it to Graven. Graven's looking for West on the screen, but you can find. I mean, that's not going to go. Now here goes Norman for the Indians. Norman now passes it around. Back to Stafford. That's not going to go. Somehow the Indians get the, the offensive board. Graven's going to corral that miss. That rebounding game right now for the Indians is. Yeah, they're, they're getting chance after chance after chance on that offensive end. Uh, and uh, that's not going to work if the, if we want if the Knights want to win this game. Graven now with the ball. She's going to kick it out to Emma West. West drives and kicks it out to Tucker. The Knights are being pushed around by this. Good Indian screen defense. set by Emma West. Calls the switch, Tucker drives, tries to put it up. Mm. Norman's going to get that steal, and here they go now. Substitution set to be made for uh, both teams. Defense got caught sleeping here. So that's with the drive off a great pass, and that's going to lead to a wide open lane. The whole defense just loaded the strong side of the court, which was on the right side. And yeah, there was no one there to help, even after the man got beat. A screen got set, and a player from Jackson got to the left side and just drove into the bucket pretty much. Graven now trying to set some up. The offense has been non-existent, to say the least, so far. Off Jackson's foot for that. Knights will stay the ball and into the game for the Knights. Number 23, Macy Paul. Number 40, Izzy Bradley. And number 44, <coughs> Rachel Roethlisberger is all coming in. Some of our seniors tonight are Rachel Roethlisberger, Haley Graven, Sophie Thurman, and Emma West. John's now going to miss that pass, and it's going to go out of bounds. Turnover now, Indians ball. Haley now with the ball. Gonna has the right idea on that pass, but uh, just too much. The pass was going into a different area code. <laughs> yep. Now it looks like Macy Paul is going to try to lead this offense to get something going. One of the lone sophomores rushing team, and that's going to uh, so good start. I still don't think that's a foul, honestly. I think. Yeah, I feel like she had position there, and she didn't go into her with the body that time. And if anything, I think that's more of a charge, but. Yeah. And that'll send Macy to the line for the Indians. Indians lead by six, 3.14 left to go here in the first quarter. Haley Grave and Allison Tucker are still in from the starting lineup. The players that were swapped out was Sophie Thurman, <coughs> Emma West, and Claire Mayfield Bruce. now in for the Indians. So I'm going to imagine, I guess, the guards stayed in. Massey's first free throw was good. The second is up, and it's good as well. This Jackson team is converting every free throw they've gotten, I'm pretty sure, so far. 11 to 3, my bad. Paul's now passing it around the back end of that uh, press. This nice team's passing so many times just before half court. Hey, Raven gets stolen by. Stolen by. Number 21. That's going to go out of bounds now. The Indians will retain possession after that poke. Pass in for the Indians. That for now is to drive. Quick Yarrow, and that's an and one for the Indians. It's going to give them a 10 point lead. Wasn't much contact there, but not many of the fouls. Have. Stafford again is at the free throw line. First one's up, and no good. Oh. Ball can be tipped around, though. 
and <laughs> the Indians retained possession of that offensive board, but then uh, traveled and into the game for the Indians is number 23, Krista Martin. Macy Pauls was bringing it down court. Pauls now gets the ball back. He's gonna attack. He's gonna get it poked away by number 21, Macy. Graven now set to throw the ball in for the ninth. Off of that. Graven now looking for it. Gonna try to get it up to Pauls. That's not gonna work, but she's gonna get the ball back. Pauls now driving in, takes a shot. And that's going to go in for the, for the sophomore. Mm -hmm. Money from about the free throw line. Pulls up and takes a jump shot. Quality take. A yeah, good shot there. One of the few we've seen so far in this game. Second, actually. As far as I know. Yeah, Taylor's going to walk it in. Pretty good dish, but uh, took too many steps before she got that pass off. Yeah, right when she stopped to make the pass, she like took an extra step there. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> yep. Grevin now back with the ball. He gets it to Tucker in the middle. He's going to take a nice That's shot. A it's going to be a foul one. and one. Great play from Tucker. I think we talked about it earlier in the game. We said, uh, I feel like she's a better player when she takes those shots than when she's driving. And Definitely. Drawing in the fouls. Game, she wasn't really doing that. Now she's doing it. And she's, uh, she's getting those points up on the board for the Knights. Definitely. She's drawing fouls, getting contact. Easy points at the free throw line, make it or not, still, it's always a chance. Some of the easiest points in basketball, and it's just Ether. off, but. Sophie Thurman came in to the game for the ninth there. Shot from the Indians. Sophie gets the rebound. Off. Now here comes the ninth, looking to push. And that's gonna be a foul. Look for Tucker to handle that ball almost all night. She's been drawing the, the fouls and uh, making the shot. Definitely, definitely. Tucker Indigo. actually comes off for Emma West. Thurman now set to throw the ball and looking for Paul's not there. He's gonna get it to Rossburg. Rossburg gonna find Johns. Good position there from Johns and there's gonna be a, a foul call, I believe. Nice team's coming alive a little bit on the offensive end. Drawing fouls. Really yeah. doing what they can to put some points up. Yeah, this, this looks like they started to got it going, and uh, it's been five unanswered so far from the Knights. So that's going to be a Tried to put a trap on there. Didn't work out That was well. a turnover, though. Got a player on the left side. In. Nice shot. It's going to be off. Offensive board. And and one from the, from the Indians. Humphreys is going to put that one in. And she's going to get this, uh, this lead here. Back up to eight. With 1.30 to play. Humphrey's shot is up and it's no good. Paul's now on the board. West now has the ball. Dribbled around the key. Finds Paul's. Paul's now looking to set stuff up for the night. Gets a little too fancy and almost turns the ball over. But they will retain possession. Thurman now set to throw the ball in. Finds West now in the corner. West now look to set this offense up. Finds Paul. Paul's now lob pass. Boozy, Boozy puts that up. No good. Right idea though from Paul. That was a great, great pass to find the open man. Nice drive there from the Indians. Not going to go. The Indians have been failing to convert these last few shots. And, uh, Really hurting them on the scoreboard. Emma West bringing the ball down now. A little spin move there. Hey. I was going to say, I thought she took an extra step there when she was trying to get that pass off. And that uh, walk was called. 50 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Indians 15, Knights 7. Indians now trying to get an open shot in this quarter, wouldn't be surprised if they held it the whole quarter, uh, the rest of the quarter be on it. Going to kick it out now. Macy for three, that's not going to go. 
Massey now back with the ball up top. 20 seconds left to go. Kicks it out. Uh, she should have took that. Yeah, I thought she would too. And there's going to be a foul called on Emma West. 17.3 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Number five, Grace Pele, had all day to shoot that three, but she decided to wait, threw a foul, now 17 seconds left. Yeah, I almost feel like the they're kind of off, like communication-wise, because it feels like some of them are running to wait for that last shot, and then some of them are going. Pele now drives out, kicks it. Nasty with the ball. She drives, I mean, kicks it. Nasty now back with the ball. Oh, but that's going to be tipped, and that's going to end the quarter. Through one now. <coughs> Jackson's up 15 to 7 through the first quarter and we'll be right back after this. Sometimes all it takes to be a dad is remembering how to be a kid again. <laughs> Take time to be a dad today. So we come back in. Welcome back now to the second quarter. Uh, nice trailing, 15 to 7. It's been a pretty rough game, I would have to say, from these Knights team, both teams to be honest. Both teams will go through stretches of just stagnant offense, moving the ball, nothing get, nothing's really going in for them, but uh, a lot of fouls, I'd have to say. Yeah, I would say there, there's been a lot of fouls. I feel like uh, the refs have definitely called it a little bit more stricter than most would. Uh, there's been some iffy ones, in my opinion, uh, where it hasn't really been much contact, but they, they've called the foul anyway. Which, I mean, you got to get used to because every ref is going to call the di game differently, obviously. Definitely, definitely. And the Knights are going to get the ball off of a turnover. Is that uh, a double dribble? Or carry, 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 carry. carry. Um, yeah, it's definitely been weird. This uh, There's been this much consistency in this game. At least. Almost a steal there. Did they get it? No, Tucker pulls it. And, and that no, they ended good. up getting it on the fast break now. No man out with the ball. Kicks it out. Staff with the three. No good off the front rim, but she's gonna get her own offensive board now. Indians kicking it around. It's really different because I feel like both of these two are high-powered offensive teams. But don't get me wrong, Jackson is definitely playing better offensively, but not as good as they can. Herman now back with the ball on the wing for the Indians. Risky pass gonna pay off though. Norm with the ball, kicks it inside to her post. There's Outside another and that. one. She's gonna get an and one for the Indians. Takes that back. I think that back was up to 10. that was definitely one of the better fouls tonight. I would have to say. First shot up. I mean, <laughs> and one is up and is good. I mean, no good. Sorry. Tucker now with the ball. What can you think? Get back on track here in the second quarter for the Knights. Graven now on the wing finds John. John finds Boozy, and her shot's up and good. Boozy makes this 17-9, as I think she has four points now in the game. Probably their highest score, to be fair. Or Tucker, maybe. Norman now with the ball for the Indians. Herman finds Alston. Give, give, give it back to her. Norman now, all stunned. All going to try to put a move on her man. She's going to kick it out. Stafford. Coming back with the ball in the corner. Going to find Norman down low. He's going to kick it out, Sodic. And then Jackson keeps moving the ball, amazing. Yeah, I feel like that's really been a, a key attribute to Ooh. the offense success. A good hustle there from the Knights to get on that ball as soon as it was on the floor. Number I mean, 15, instantly. Riley Stafford, I, I think actually just took a knee to the face from Macy Pauls. When she went down to go get that ball. That I mean, she oh. fell on that ball, and instantly there were two knights on, on top of that ball. I mean, instantly. Yeah, not much hesitation right there. Paul's now Favorite. finds Tucker. Tucker's going to drive, takes another shot, and there's going to be another foul. That's exactly what Tucker, I think, needs to do all night long. Yeah, but she's going to have to convert those free throws. I don't, I don't know if she's made one yet tonight. I don't know. 
That foul was on Alston. That's going to be her second foul. Six minutes through the second quarter, <coughs> 17 to 9. The Indians have five team fouls. The Knights have six. A lot of fouls, a lot of fouls. Tucker converts that one. Makes it 17-10. Pulling in this lead. That's all you really can do is chip away. Stafford now going to kick it. Sodek. And Sodek Bang, hit she hits that. another three. 20-10 Indians right now. It's been all Indians offense. Now Paul's going to take a drive. Almost loses that ball. That's another foul, foul, it's like. Is that a shooting foul? Do they, are they going to call I it a shooting foul? On the floor. Both teams now are in the bonus. They're going to have one and one next foul. Uh, next foul. Don't, doesn't matter which team. I feel like you can tell, though, that Paul I think that was a blocking foul. has had some uh, first game jitters. She's uh, lost the ball a couple times. John's now going to get the first shot. And then the second one's going to be blocked. And he is now in transition. Norman's going to kick it back out. So it's going to kick it to Stafford. Stafford for three. No good there. Now here comes Tucker. Tucker's on that fast break. Gets it to Graven. I feel like Graven needs to shoot to shoot that rock, you know? Paul's now D3. That's not going to go. He's going to be out of bounds. And he's going to retain possession now. I feel like uh, Susie could have gotten that one, but uh, she chose not to go after it instead and into the game for the nice number 44, Roethlisberger. I think Hayley Graven, Graven needs to be a little more confident with the rock in her hands, you know? Yeah, she hasn't really looked to score. It's been mo mostly passing. Uh, I don't think she shot a single basket tonight, Paul's honestly. <laughs> Going to jump up. The Knights now getting into a 2 3 zone. And he's working it around, trying to figure out what they can do to get inside. Yeah. And Stafford's yeah. going to hit that, and he's not going to go. Good offensive board, though, from Nerman. He's been all over the floor, and she's one of the smallest. She's so Bang, there's that. another three she, for Jackson. She's uh, been lighting it up, to say the least. It's two or three threes from her tonight. And Graven now is going to bring it across. And she, she almost loses the ball. Good hustle there from Paul to get it back into Graven. What a weird throw. She had to throw like over her head while moving in to the left. 13 point lead here for the Indians. 4.30 left to play here in the second quarter. Paul's now with the ball. Back to Paul for three. That's not going to go either. Indians going to get another rebound there. Credit that one to Stafford. She it, brings this, the ball up here for the this Indians. This night's team's not showing any toughness down low. Yeah, I know it's been all it Indians. I mean, even the smallest. Players for them have, have been getting the rebounds over the tallest of the Knights. It's, it's just been, there's been no, no, like, grit here from the Knights. Trying to get out with that fake there. Almost. Sodic now for another three. That one's not going to go in just and out. Barely rolls out. Paul's good crossover to Graven for three. That's not going to go. Good, good to see uh, Graven actually look for their shot there instead of uh, passing it away. Yeah. Either way, though, it didn't go now, and here's the Indians. Norman now back with the ball. Trying to find something. She's going to kick to Sodic. She's going to find Stafford. She's going to kick it to Alston. Alston back out to Sodic. Wanted to take that shot, but she decided against it. 3.20 left in the second Stafford quarter. Now good pump fake. Takes that uh, mid-range, and that's going to go for the Indians. She's hitting everything tonight, Stafford is. Timeout Indians here. And uh, there's going to be a whole plethora of substitutions. I think so far uh, it's really been up and down for the Knights. I mean, they've, they've had their hot streaks on offense, I think you could say, but it hasn't been. There haven't been too many of those. And when they have them, it's like four or six points, if that, and then it's nothing. Yeah, and yeah. it's a whole lot of nothing to beat. This yeah. Indian team, though, they're lighting up from behind the arc. They're driving in. Number 30, uh, <coughs> Alexis Alston. She's been killing it in the post. I mean, you can't do much to stop them at that rate. You know? but I can feel like you can uh, almost credit those points to the rebounding as it's been offensive chance after offensive oh, chance. Oh, definitely. It's, it's been an all Indians Whereas rebounding. Whereas on the Knights, game. it's been almost one and done every time. I mean, there have been a couple occasions. Yeah, they, they got to show some grittiness. Kind of you know, hit that weight room up a little bit. Yeah, and here we are set to play now. Three minutes left to go here in the second quarter. West is going to turn it over again, but they're going to call it a kick ball. Nice get lucky on that one. Maybe smarter with the ball, slow down a little bit. This team's not very – well, they're a fast team, but I don't think they operate well on the fast break at all, as we saw so far. Thurman now with the ball on 
the wing for the Knights. Graven's going to drive. She's going to get fouled there by number 22, Mayfield. That will send Graven to the line for a one and one. 17 fouls for the Indians. Kelly yeah, Graven needs to convert these free throws. She needs, she needs to just chip away at this lead right now. Yep, anything would help at this point. 15 point lead here. She does not convert and didn't get the offensive board. Mayfield with the ball then. He's going to kick it to Pele. And he's now swinging the ball around. Long pass. That was in the air for a long time. Still wasn't stolen, though. Indy is now going to drive inside. Shot from Mayfield. That's going to go. Nice shot from her. That mid-range game is definitely not dead for this team. They've hit a couple of shots now from there. Yeah, just about everything's worked for the Indy. Putting Indians. some moves on uh, Mayfield. Haley Gray is. That's going to be... Time Travel? The Knights, no time, gonna, I was really close to being a five seconds call, but instead they're gonna get the uh, the timeout. Thirty second timeout there, and the Knights are trailing by 17 points. Two minutes, 15 seconds left to go here in the second quarter, and uh, I feel like the Knights have really been struggling to convert anything on offense. And even when they've gotten to the uh, the free throw line, it's been uh, not 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 much. Nothing but bricks. They might as well be building a brick house out there. Boozy yeah. is uh, leading the Knights with four points. Followed behind her is Tucker with three. And uh, no one's really in foul trouble. Johns has two, but that's about it on that uh, the foul line for the Knights. Yeah, just, um, you just got to play smarter basketball. A lot of turnovers. They're in the bonus already with fouls, so you just got to play smart. Burke now finds Tucker. Pump fake, and that's going to not make it in, but they're going to get their own offense board, something we haven't seen much for the Knights. West now swings it to Sophie Thurman. Thurman. Up and over. Why get it? Sophie Thurman just stopped and took that three. I thought it was going in. She's a very reliable player on the offensive end. A good shot, bad bad bounce off that rim, though. And it's going to send it over. And the Indians now have possession of the ball. Somehow the Indians find a way to corral that. And now they're swinging it around pretty quickly, trying to find that open man. Oh, three there. That's not going to go. Another offensive rebound, as we just were talking about. That's going to go overhead. And and that will be a backcourt. I thought for a second they thought uh, someone had tipped it, but no. And that will be a turnover, something you haven't seen very much from the Indians, that they've been pretty efficient with the way they've moved this ball around the floor. Definitely, definitely. Tucker now looking to stump, get something going with a minute 30 left here. Almost turns it over again. Graven out to Thurman for three. That's not going to go. Tucker's going to get another offensive board here. West now finds Roethlisberger in the corner. Gonna take it down. Tucker, she's going to put that shot up and there get it you to go. go. There you go. There's another two for the Farmington Knights. Chipping away at that lead, that's all they can do. Knights now kicking the ball, I mean Indians, sorry. Kicking the ball around. Just trying to find an open look, really. Well, she had one right there, but Indian she decided not to take it. Tried to take that up and under, not there though. Kicks it to Masterson. Oops, sorry, Mayfield. <laughs> and that's not gonna go either. Indians now still with the ball, and that's gonna be a foul. And that will send uh, number 22, Mayfield, to the line for the Indians as uh, both teams are now in the bonus. Zoe John's now set to check in for the Knights. That was Haley Graven's second foul. And you gotta be careful now because uh, you get in the third one, it's gonna be, could be dangerous for the Knights. Might be sitting that bench for a little bit. Mayfield's first one and one shot is good and she's gonna earn herself a second one. The Indians lead here by 16 points. John's going to get a rebound here. 40 seconds left to go here in the half, but Tucker's going to turn it over. And now feel back with the ball. Going to bring it out. Wouldn't be surprised to see them uh, run this clock out here. And he's moving the ball around quite fast. 
back up top. Another three here. That one's gonna go. Money. Nothing but net there. Nylon's all she's hitting today, dude. That was Masterson for the Indians. Six Tuckers taking the ball seconds. down. Seconds, here we go. Shot from Thurman. It's gonna go. And Dang, that she hits her half. first one. And we're gonna go Trade to the half. threes now. <laughs> 15, 31 Indians. And it's been nothing but Indians uh, so far in this half. We will uh, take a quick break and we'll be back after halftime. First half overview, and then we'll ask you about it. We'll look at it. Welcome back to Night Vision Media here for the second half of this game. The Knights have uh, kind of struggled offensively, and it's a lead to this uh, 16 point lead here for the Indians. Yes, they have. Um, really, just the rebound battle has been very offsided. Yeah, they can't just get they can't get any energy on the offensive end. It's yeah, I think you said that that best. The offensive boards for the Indians have been tremendous. I mean, they're getting three, four chances almost every single time on the offensive end. That's what it seems like and, anyway. Uh, they're usually converting <coughs> that, that third or fourth time. I feel like uh, if if they could get that 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 board the first time, it wouldn't be such a big lead. Definitely. Instead, that's what we're looking at. I feel like. I'm not saying if the Knights got more offensive rebounds, they would be ahead, which they probably would. I feel like if they got more defensive rebounds, they would definitely be closer game, maybe even ahead, possibly. Yeah, yeah, I feel like ahead, possibly. closer up. But uh, leading the Knights in points is Allison Tucker with five. Followed uh, behind her is uh, Claire Boozy with four. And then uh, Sophie Thurman with three. No one's really in uh, foul trouble for the Knights, though. Uh, as Johns has two, and Graven has two. But every, almost everyone just has one, if that. I think this night teams can shoot better, uh, rebound more, pass better. Definitely, they can just they can play better basketball all around. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, I feel I feel like uh, you said that best. I feel like the Knights uh, just need to really get that ball moving. As uh, they're kind of struggling because uh, they're getting kind of getting trapped and uh, stuck in situations that they really shouldn't be. And I feel like if they could just get that ball moving around a little bit more, that uh, they wouldn't be having those offensive struggles to say. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Now he's set to get into this game. I believe it's Indian ball, but I'm not for sure on that. We're this will find out shortly. Same uh, lineups as we started out with for both teams, and it will be Indian ball. Norman now with the ball, trying to get something set up. Nice. Once again, out into a 2-3. Looks like they're putting more pressure on the Indians for sure. Indians kind of looking a little bit uh, frustrated to say. Even though they're running the 2-3 zone, I don't think they're they're not executing it very well. It doesn't look like, to be honest. Yeah, you can t tell it's been emphasis as instantly people were blocking out. I mean, as soon as that shot went up, everyone was on somebody. And uh, that's going to get them the ball. And the Indians are going to once again put some pressure on them with that 2-2-1 two -two press. Graven now with the ball, trying to get it out to find Thurman. Thurman looks for look for uh, Graven back, but uh, he's not going to find her. I definitely think this Knights team should use Sophie Thurman, Claire Boozy a little bit more in their offense. Don't get me wrong, Allison Tucker can definitely put the ball down and score a little bit, but I just feel like Thurman and Boozy taking jump shots and layups is the best bet for them. Now off of that turnover from the Knights. Now they... Passing around, Norman back with the ball for the Indians. Kicks it up top to Stafford. Stafford's going to find Soda. Soda's going to kick it back up to Stafford. So now down low to Allsett's done. And uh, I don't know what happened there. I believe foul. That was a foul. That went on Boozy. Shot there from the Indies. Off. Now here comes the nice transition. Tucker with a wide open lane. And she will convert that way up barely. It looked like it was going to fall out, but I she's going to get it now. Here come the, the Indians. Got it on a fast break, and Tucker again finishes the layup as she normally does, contact or not. Stafford now with a nice drive. Now it's not going to be going at all. It's not even hit the rim. Air ball. Now here come the Knights again. Starting to look with some energy. 
Tucker drives, kicks it back out to West, barely corrals that ball. Again, now ball movement. They need to make safe passes here. Yeah, you're going to have to be safe. Now you got some momentum on your side. you got to keep it going. you got to keep that that spark. you gotta, you got to keep it going. And, and you got to get on a run here for the Knights. Tucker now kicks to Graven. Graven drives, finds Tucker. Almost, I think she thought about that shot for a second and then realized she was way too far out for that. Tucker back with the ball, kicks to Boozy. Boozy now out. There's going to be turnover. Stafford now with the and ball. Boozy can get it. Boozy almost got back. I think Boozy got up. She could have got the chase down block there. Yeah, it would have been close to say the least. It's going to be another easy layup for the Indians, which unfortunately has been most of their points tonight. Grave now just going to dribble it right back up. Spin move. Kicks it to Boozy down low. He's going to try to dish it out to Tucker. But Stay into the think Knights. the ball was kicked. 520 left to play here in the third quarter. Ravens again going to throw it in. 33-17 Indians. Oh, and that Whoa. one's kicked up into the student section. There's you a ball. As the ball's <laughs> thrown back down. West now back on the tech. Gets it to Tucker. Tucker's looking down low to Thurman, but there's nothing there. Now Tucker's going to drive. Takes a nice... Powerful dribble is going to get in and get the foul there. You can tell Tucker's been hitting, hitting that weight room recently, like we were talking about. Yep. That foul is going to go so that the Indians, both teams have one team foul. She can get the Knights up to 19 if she makes both of them. The first one goes. Tucker's second is up, and it's going to be going in as well. Tucker is starting to really pull away for this team in scoring. They're really reliant on her for this. If she's not scoring and moving the ball well, then this team, again, is just so stagnant. I mean, now down low for the Indians. Kicks it. So to, so to now back up to Norman. Back down. And he's passed the ball well. Alston puts that up, and there's going to be a foul call, and she's going to go to the line for two. Unlucky for Boozy. I just... Sometimes I just don't see these fouls that these refs are calling. Now that one was a little better, but the fouls earlier in the game were really, I, been I think, really, bit. really poorly called. Yeah, they've been a little bit touchy so far. That will be Boozy's third foul. <laughs> and you got to be careful. Get a fourth. She's probably going to be out till the fourth quarter, to say the least. Also, his first was not good. Second, not as well. 0 for 2 there for that trip. Now here come the Knights trying to get something going. Graven kicks it back out to West. West thought about that shot for a second and realized it wasn't what they needed. I feel nice. like Graven needs to, again, be more aggressive. You know, she's really just handling the ball and passing a little bit. She needs to really take a more leadership. And I think we talked about that before. There has it, there, there's really not that the person they've been able to turn to to, you know, constantly score. And yeah. I feel like with successful teams, they, they got that. And I feel like... So far this season, no one's really shown that quality from the Knights. You know, last year they really had Lexi Paul as a great three-point shooter, but this year they haven't got anybody who can really just fly score, score every, every time. Yeah. And I feel like Tucker could be that role for the Knights, but I feel like she's going to have to play more of her game. As that shot wasn't good as well. Now here comes the Indians. Shot there from Zodek. That one's not going to go. She's been pretty good from Tucker there. Tucker falls in the rebound, and there goes Emma West. Shot up, almost got blocked. And that one's not going to go off. Like she kind of rushed that. Shame. Somebody lost a shot. Norman now dribbles it around, kicks it to Stafford. Stafford for three. And that's going to go for the Indians. Takes them up to 36. Official timeout now. Someone lost a shoe. Subs now in for both teams. Number 11, Emily Grief. Number 15, Sarah Worley. Number 44, Roethlisberger. And uh, number 40, Zoe Johns. As well as uh, number 23, Macy Paul. Paul's now. Puts a move on her man. And gets it to Grief. Grief's looking for someone out. 
And that's going to be another timeout, this time from the Knights. Uh, kind of talk something over because uh, their offense was kind of stagnant there and uh, didn't really do anything. 36-19 is the score with 3.16 left in the third quarter. This Jackson team is really just pulling away at this point with a um, 15 or so point lead, I think. <coughs> and it's just really getting bigger. Yeah, it's really grown. I mean, scoring-wise for the Knights, nothing really notable other than Tucker's nine. But I feel like, I think we said this, I feel like that leadership really isn't there, and there hasn't been really someone they've been able to turn to offensively who can really handle that ball and uh, been able to really distribute it and score for the Knights. And I feel like uh, in past years you've had that, but it's, it's still, it's still, it still wasn't, you know, quite there. Subs come on now. For both teams. Paul's now with the ball. If you can do spin moving, fouls will be called. Good drive there from Pauls. Looks like she's playing with a little bit more confidence than she was in that first half. Definitely, definitely. That would be Peel's second foul. And nice pass there from Worley into Roethlisberger. And there will be a foul call. Roethlisberger will go to the line for two. And get this Knights uh, point total up to 21. Possibly. That first shot is up, and it will roll oh, around yeah. and go in. Would you call that a lucky bounce? Something like that. Roethlisberger's second is up, and it is good as well. Money, money. 21-36 now. Indians in the lead. Not my bad. Now it's a 15-point game. Earlier it was 17. <laughs> I stand corrected. Feel now into the ball. I mean, into the game. <laughs> Mayfield now with the ball. He's it back to Peel. Peel. Sodic. Pass there. Goes low there for the Indians. The Humphreys. Humphreys going to knock down that shot. Good pass there from number 21, Macy. Reese now going to take it down. Gets it to Roethlisberger, it's going to be poked. Reese now back with the ball in the corner. She's trapped. Gets it back down to Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger going to be double teamed. She's going to get that shot up before and it's going to go for the Knights. Two nice, uh, two nice moves there from Roethlisberger and she's going to get herself four points. Another shot here from the Indians. That one's not going to go though. Offensive board there from Humphreys. She, that one's not one. going to go as well. I mean, there it was again. Reese is going to get that third offensive board, I think. And I mean, it's going to lead to points, and there's a turnover there from the Knights. I mean, it's just been, I guess you could say jitters or something. I It just, it just hasn't been there I've so definitely far. seen this Knights team play a lot better by far. I mean, I mean, you can come to expect that. It's just the first game of the season, but I feel like some of the stuff is uh, could be addressed, to say the least. Deep three there. So the Johns kind of bobbles that rebound, but gets it got a hold of Grief now. Ethan, if you were coaching this Farmington Knights team right now, what would you probably say to them? I feel like they need to, to really distribute that ball as uh, that free throw goes into the Indian. Or play up, my bad. I feel like they really need to distribute that ball and they need to get something going. They need to get it down low. I feel like that's what's been the strength. They've, when they've gotten it inside and down low, when they've been able to take care of the ball and get it down there, it's usually turned into points. But the, the problem is we ha they haven't really been able to get it down there, and I feel like uh, ball movement-wise is, 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 is what's the problem for the Knights. I agree. I agree 100%. And he's and now back on the <coughs> attack. Out to Macy for the three. That's not going to go, but almost gets another board. Worley's going to corral that, though, and here goes the Knights. What an outlet pass, I'd have to say. That was a beaut of a pass. That was a pretty good pass, and I think they called the foul on Paul there. I don't know really how they called that, as the ball was kind of loose and no one really had possession of it. Who is this ref out here? <laughs> Subs now into the nice starting lineup back in, I believe. And he is set to inbound the ball. Minute four to play here in the third quarter. They are winning 42 to 23 here. Peel now kicks it to number 23, Martin. Martin back out to Peel. 
Mayfield going to find. Oh, and that's going to be a walk by Mayfield. Uh, she just hesitated too long on that pass and uh, ultimately started. Now a 19-point lead for Jackson. It was, like I just said, just they're just grinding away at their lead, just making it bigger and bigger, it seems like, with every possession. Another turnover there from the Knights. That time Long coming from pass. Tucker. Great pass there, and that will set up Mayfield for the easy bucket. 44 yeah. points here for the Indians. 30 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. At this point, it's almost unreachable for the Knights unless they can get something going offensively. It's really, I guess you could say it's now or never. That one's going to be tipped. And But another turnover from Tucker has been nothing but easy layups, and that was another easy one there for Mayfield. Tucker now going to try to protect that ball. Is she, when that pressure's been on her, she's kind of struggled to do that. Yeah, they definitely seem agitated. See right there, the ball movement. Uh, I don't think that was a smart go, smart yeah. pass by Thurman. Yeah. Uh, Boozy set the screen, and as she came off the screen, she rolled off, and she was really wide open in the paint. If Tucker was solid and maybe got a good entry pass, she could have came out with an easy two and a, an assist, but she went to Thurman, and it just wasn't Reese. the right choice. Miscommunication with time there for the Knights, and they're not going to get a shot off. I mean, they would have had, I mean, at least I a th chance at I a I think Thurman, there. if she would have took that about 10, 15 foot jumper, she could have definitely cashed in for two points. Yep. Headed into the fourth quarter, 46-23. We will be right back after this break. Welcome back. Now from that commercial break, Indians winning 46-23, 23 point lead to be exact. Knights have been uh, very stagnant on offense. They may get like two or four points in a row and nothing, 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 nothing. I guess the only like high point you could say for the Knights would be Allison Tucker. Uh, she's gotten, what, like nine points? Yeah, nine points. Ton she's gotten fouled a lot, which is good. She's been to the line, converting a couple of them. But but uh, like I feel like like we said, uh, <coughs> she's turned the ball over way too many times. And just, I think that's the lead, but, uh, just because of small, uh, dumb passes. And there was another one. And staff is going to go another in. Another open layup. I feel like that whole third quarter was nothing but layups there for the Indians. And I feel like that they kind of – Pointed was an emphasis for them going into halftime with that, that big lead. <laughs> Thurman now tries to put a move on her man. He's going to kick it back out to Tucker. Tucker's going to take that shot. Not going to go, and Indian's going to get the rebound. There's another brick. Like I said, they're building a house pretty much. Norman now kicks it down in the corner. Sodek. Sodek's going to dribble in, kicks it back out to Norman. Norman now takes take. it. Stafford now with the ball. Puts up that mid-range, and that's going to get I think that. that was a bit of a floater, honestly. Yeah, it was uh, something. She kind of rushed her shot there. Didn't follow through. Graven now with the ball. Sticks it to Thurman. Thurman's going to take a bad shot. Or I think it, I think it got blocked. And uh, that's going to go out of bounds, but the Knights will retain possession. Into the game for the Knights is number 21, Catherine Banger. Catherine Banger, I don't think, has had any playing time until now. Yep. I think the coaches are starting to realize this game might just be out of reach with six minutes and 51 seconds. I don't think there's any way this Knights team is going to score 20 and a quarter. No, I wouldn't say so, especially with uh, all the struggles they've had offensively. They can really only just play until whenever and fight, really. You know, don't give up. I think you've been able to tell that the, the Indian lineup hasn't been their bet, the starting five. Graven now takes, kicks it out to Tucker. Tucker for three. No good. Graven kind of swatted at the ball. Somehow she gets it. Thurman out with the ball down low off of that offensive board. I Graven. think she needs to be taking, driving her, yeah, backing her down in the post and taking shots, you know. She shouldn't, I don't think she should be passing out of the yep. post area. Bajor now is going to draw, draw the foul. <laughs> and they will uh, keep that ball. Sub for the Indians, number four, Valentine. Graven now set to throw the ball in for the Knights. 
Gonna get it to Tucker. Tucker's gonna take that up, and that will be a foul. Sends her to the line for two. Another good foul from Tucker. Or yeah, for I feel, Tucker. I feel like when she's gone in fearless, uh, she's really been able to draw the fouls and uh, get those shots. First one is good from Tucker. Second up and good as well. I think she's four for four in the second half of free throws. Big improvement. I don't know if she made any in that first half. And he's now moving the ball around Norman at the source of it. She's been all game. 6.05 left in this fourth period. 48 to 25. 23 point lead for Jackson. Norman. As I said, it's a little out of hand at this point. Norman now out to Valentine. Thought about that shot for a second. Can kick it back out though. Now it's going around again for the Indians. Been great ball movement. Deep three there from the Indians. Took a three in her eye. I bet her eye is hurting at this point, bro. Hartman hits another three there for the Indians and uh, just expanding that lead even more for the Knights. She'll need to get that checked out by a doctor the way <laughs> that went. Uh. <coughs> Subs now set to set in for both teams. And they will offer a ball that came off of an Indian foot, I believe. And a whole new lineup for the Knights. Really now set to throw the ball in. You know, even though Jackson's winning, this is one of the more quieter Jackson crowds I've heard. Yeah, I feel like they, they kind of knew coming to this game that it wouldn't be one of the closest games. Yeah, as in the past, we've lost double digits multiple times in this team. Very good team. But in other news, our JV beat Jackson. Yeah. Good move there from John. And she'll convert. Again, one of the uh, bigger girls on the team going into the post. And scoring, I think that's what they should have done from the beginning, the beginning of yeah. this game. Another three there, that time for Valentine. That one's not going to go. Paul with the rebound now in transition for the Knights. Nice cross over there. I think she kind of forced that shot, and uh, it didn't go in. Now here come the Indians. Messi with the ball. She's going to get blocked by Pauls. Now here come the Knights in transition. Johns with an open lane. And she will There's get fouled. Foul by number four, Valentine of the Indians, I believe. Yep, that one will go against Valentine. That's her first uh, personal foul, six team foul for the Indians. And uh, the next foul uh, against the Indians will be uh, in uh, the one and one bonus for the Knights. But I don't think that's gonna really matter much as the uh, four, Four minutes, 44 seconds left to play here in the fourth quarter, and the Indians are leading 51 to 28. And he is now swinging the ball around, something we've become accustomed to this game. That one will be tipped. And he is somehow, some way, find a way to retain the ball. This Indian team has been resilient all game when it comes to the ball. Very, the turnover dif differential has been massive compared to the Indians. Yeah, I think that, that'd that be, to say the least, I feel like they've been after those loose balls. I mean, we've seen the Knights go after them before, but I feel like definitely, they, definitely. the hustle game from the Indians has just been much, much greater than the Knights. And I feel like that's kind of showed up on the scoreboard especially. You know, every loose ball, every 50-50 ball, every single one, Jackson's been up there to get it, and they definitely have. Yep. Four minutes now left to play here in this game. 51-28, the Indians lead. I mean, lead. And I think they're just trying to talk stuff over, trying to get, uh, trying to get out of this game as healthy as possible. Definitely. Uh, they haven't played their starting five for a while now. Nah, probably two or three minutes since that they were in. Field now back with the ball. Kicks to Valentine. He will dish to Masterson. Masterson back with the ball. I think she thought about shooting that for a second. Then realized how back, how far she back was about she three was. Three feet away from the three point line. Good move there. Messi, Messi kicks it out. 
for three, and that's not going to go offensive boy, I mean defensive boy there from the Knights. And then Reeves spins a man. Really the, now. The woman, I guess. Paul's now. Dribbles around. Drives. Drives. Thought she was going to take a step back there. Tangled up there for Valentine, and then she's going to get a foul called on her. A little aggressive player. I think uh, it's a lot of foul trouble, it seems like. Yeah, I feel like she's been, when she turns that ball over, she's been kind of careless with it. And that's her second team foul. I mean, personal foul, fourth uh, team. So now with the ball, Valentine kicks to Massey. Massey now is going to dribble in. To Val kicks it out to Valentine. Masterson now with the ball. Indians moving the ball around with ease. You know, I was just noticing this Jackson team and the Farmington team has the same design of shorts. Yeah, I think, I think their uniforms are the same, just a little bit different lettering. Yeah, the only difference is, you know, we have an F, they have a J. Yeah. Yep. Now, subs for all five spots here for the Knights. Starters coming back in. 23-point game with three minutes left in this fourth period. <coughs> Knights have five team fouls, and uh, Jackson Lady Knights have six. Or er, Jackson Indian. Lady Indians, my bad. Valentine now swings the ball to Massey. Massey's going to drive, puts the shot up, but she hesitated on that, and it will not go. But she almost gets herself a steal, but now here come the Knights. West. Finds Banger. He's gonna kick it to Tucker. Tucker now dishes to West. West looking down low. Not gonna find anything though. Thurman now looking for Boozy. Boozy's gonna kick it to West it's down low, I believe. And she's gonna get fouled. Good take. <laughs> good take. I think that one was for sure, without a doubt, a foul. I think she had two girls on her back. And uh, that will send her to line for two. <coughs> And the West hasn't been too uh, apparent in this game. She's been really quiet. Nothing much. Yeah, I don't think she's had any points. Same with Haley Graven. I don't think Haley Graven scored once tonight as well. Uh, she has one point, actually. One. I think she, yeah, that was when she took the two free throws, actually. I'm pretty sure. More subs for the Indians. West's second free throw is up. And it's good. She will be on the scoreboard for one point. Knights now 21, uh, 29 points. Masterson now gets that ball tipped. And it's on its way to Peel. Peel now kicks it out. Mayfield now back with the ball. Two, Two minutes, minutes left, left to play. <laughs> Deep three there from Murley, and that's been the story of the game. I mean, three after three after three. I mean, just really easy shots. Is there really a point anymore to keep playing, I wonder? I mean, there's, I don't see this game coming and being close at all. Maybe this nice team should just, you know, take this next minute and a half off, and same with Jackson. Uh. Foul there on the Knights. I don't believe that the Knights can win this game at this point at all. Honestly, I mean, a minute and a half down, 23. It's pretty much out of the reach now for sure. Mayfield's out the line for the Indians. First one is up and good. It's going to send their total to 55 points. 130 left to play <laughs> here. At least. Everyone comes out of the game for the Knights. But at least you can look at the bright side. These Knights team didn't give up coming in the stretch. You know, They were playing the starters to the last minute. They were fighting all the way. Second free throw good as well. And, Chuggy, what, what do you think the mindset's going to be, you know, going into the rest of the season for the Knights? You know, they, they really just got to look at this as a bad night, which it definitely was. They got to look at this as something they can definitely improve on. Yeah, I think I think you said that pretty well. I I feel like they they kind of just got to put this one behind them and you know learn from it. 
as uh, if I feel like if they let this, you know, kind of hang in their mind, it's going to haunt them for the rest of the season. That's not something you want, especially with this being the first game. You know, you just got to look at it as this is a good Jackson team. Uh, they beat in double digits multiple times in the last couple of years. Uh, it was kind of expected to happen, I guess you could say, but they fought, and uh, there was some good things and a lot of bad things, but I mean, you just got to focus on the good things, really. This is a very young team, uh, to say the least. There's not many seniors, I think four or so. Uh, but, yeah. And he's now passing it around. And that was another three. That time from Humphreys. Oh, no. <laughs> Grief now with the ball. 30 seconds left to go. Nice pass to Johns. Johns is going to make that easy layup. 30 seconds now. 59-35 is the score. <coughs> and he's now, I think, just trying to get it out. I'm actually kind of surprised that one of the subs, Riley Bond, didn't come into the game. Usually later in the game, she likes to come in and maybe score a bucket or so. Paul's last second shot will not go. <laughs> and the Indians will take the dub here. 59-35 is your final score. Uh, I'm Ethan Burke. Alongside me tonight was Chucky. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next time. Actually, tomorrow, uh, the boys play Festus. And we'll see you then. Have a good night.